So this is always an interesting one here. We have the guy swimming in the water down at the boat ramp. Probably one of the worst places that you can do that. The boat that just came in over here on the left-hand side of the screen came in and he wound up jumping in the water right after they came in. But he's just kind of chilling out there, but definitely kind of a dangerous spot to be. And here comes the police blue lights on. I'm coming to stop you, my man. What's that? I'm coming to stop you. That's why I had my siren off, man. I was wondering. Oh, yeah. I wonder if you were wondering. <laughs> Wait, why are you stopping us? Well, the have... idle speed dog at the gas pump sometimes was right there. So of course that one's interesting. The guy up there on the bicycle said he even heard the officer coming down the waterway, but the guys on the boat didn't. And I can understand that. Sometimes it is tough to hear. How you doing? All right. I'm off to Point Beach PD. So right now the officer's actually being really cool with these guys. Basically just telling these guys why he pulled them over, even saying, hey, stand on the boat, guys. I know it's hot up here. It's definitely gonna be cooler and easier for you to stand down there than standing on the hot dock. Very cordial about everything at this point in time. And so far everybody seems pretty cool, but it doesn't stay this way long. No problem. No problem. Oh, hell no. I'm the night shifter. I just got on my shift. Finally get out. I've been 45 in a row. I'm I work with law enforcement. I So I am going to fast forward through some of this, guys. This whole event lasted 50 minutes, but this crew is not happy about the fact they're getting a ticket. And his girlfriend slash wife, she's really frustrated with the whole thing. She mentioned she worked an overnight shift, and I think she's tired. things really start to boil over and I think it's got to do with multiple things once again his girlfriend she's tired she's openly admitted that she's kind of on him a little bit the guy who's captaining the boat and so he's getting frustrated as well it's a hundred degrees out here guys and things start to boil over a little bit probably due to a lot of different factors that are going on here he 
tired a lot. Now at this point, these guys are giving the officer a hard time and he's really done nothing but be nice to them. I mean, I understand being mad you're getting a ticket, man, but rambling off names sure. of police officers you know and stuff isn't, if you broke the law, take your ticket. Again, I understand everybody being upset. It's hot, we're getting a ticket, and we've been here for a while. And I think that's where things have started to boil over. But still, there's no need to give the officer such a hard time when he's just trying to do his job. And in the end, of course, our guy does wind up getting the ticket. I don't know what the ticket was for. I'm assuming it's exactly what the officer claimed, which was going to be running through the no-wake zone that they passed through where there was a fuel dock, and they didn't stop. More than likely, if they would have stopped, I'm betting they wouldn't have got a ticket, but I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. When the wind's blowing, you're cruising at 30 miles an hour in a boat, sometimes it is hard to hear. And if the police boat, let's say, is several hundred yards back, and you know, it's very likely they did not hear or see him. I mean, there's no mirrors on a boat, at least not a boat like what they have here. But still, I think the whole thing would have actually moved a little faster as well had they not given the officer such a hard time. I'm wondering if he was intentionally slowing the process down a little bit at that point. But he was very cordial to them the entire way through this. I mean, these guys really probably could have had a lot more grief from him. So mad props to the officer on this one. But thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Ramps. If you guys did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things down at the inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, do some great comedy boating videos there as well. And of course, we've got Boats vs. Haulover, where Man and Machine take on Mother Nature down at Haulover Inlet. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.